What's up, Internet? This is the A4th Wolf, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Watches. Let's see, this is uh, Red vs. Blue, Season 15, Chapter... What is it? Chapter 13? No, it's Chapter 13. Season 15, Chapter 13. Blue vs. Red, Part 2. Now, in the last part, we, we discovered that the... Uh, turns out that the... I'm just going to call the group Blue vs. Red, as opposed to the R group of Red vs. Blue. The Blue vs. Red soldiers uh, were in the same kind of situation that they that the Reds and Blues were in. Uh, trapped in the middle of a box canyon in the middle of nowhere, and they were the descendable soldiers that the freelancers uh, tested their uh, skills on. Uh, but it turns out that one person from each side actually were friends... Uh, prior to joining the service, and they caught on really quick. But uh, I guess like Project Fre Freelancer was too big; they knew they were too powerful, and they couldn't say anything. So, uh, and the Griff from this timeline. Uh, forgive me if I don't list names because I just don't remember offhand. But the Griff from that side uh, asked. Uh, I believe the ch uh, the church from the blue side to essentially give him a medical discharge, shoot him somewhere non-lethal, uh, so he can uh, go back to you know just get out of the service, go back home where his girlfriend was waiting for him, and uh, and that's that. That that was the plan, but apparently doesn't all go to plan. And here we are with part two of that episode. Let's find out what happens. I'm actually really excited because it finally sounds like we're going to get a big fight scene. And this is a long time coming. So let's stop wasting time, go right into the episode. At ease, Carolina. You performed well recently. I can do better. Ooh, okay. Just give me another chance. I promise you won't. So, oh, call and this is right after we want Tex was there too. However, so she is running hot. I am prepared to oblige your request. Thank you, sir. Ready for mission briefing. You will lead a team of inexperienced soldiers in a game of A game? Are you kidding? This isn't about the game. It's about those you will be working with. In war, one is not always so fortunate as to choose their allies. It will also act as a field test for several pieces of prototype technology. With all due respect, I doubt I'll ever be Voice fighting war oh, alongside okay. so this... blue idiots, oh, sir. Man. That is your final interruption. It's you all the equipment that uh, Tex used to disguise who she soldiers. was. The game, if you're curious, is my personal favorite. Capture, Capture the, flag. the flag. Who's there the other is. agent? Carolina? That's so. Don't tell me oh, it's Tex. Yeah. There's good action on this fight. <laughs> Even good guy Wash put a bet down. What's my over under? Four to one? Not too shabby. Ah, now that's four to one against. No offense. That woman oh. is a killing machine. Do you remember what she did? Great. Why? Why, why are you goading her? Don't worry, though. I got your back. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What can I say? Always a sucker for blue team. You what? We dug a hole in the ground, and then we put the flag in it. And then we covered the hole. That last part was my idea. What possessed you to do something so stupid? What's the big deal? We done good. We need both flags to win the game, you moron. Where is it? Where did you bury it? Oh, we have no idea. What? That's why we made a map. Where's the map? Oh, we have no idea. You lost the map. It's more like we just forgot where we put the map. It's okay. I made a new flag. This one's even better. I like to make things. <laughs> hey, speaking of forgetting, I don't remember ever calling command for a freelancer. Stow it. We're going loud in five. What do you think she means by loud? Well done, or medium top yelling. And it's not a mistake, you moron. It's a maneuver. You two, my name is... Don't fucking care. Tweedledee and Tweedledum lay down suppressing fire. I can't. I let the magic back at me. Jeez, careful. You're going to hit someone. Shut up. You, over there. Are I feel you bad for that? these people. Sorry, ma'am. 
I am neither red nor blue. Oh my I'm god! I'm administering first aid to the knee. Incoming! What is it? Kind of looks like a puma to me. <laughs> it looks like a boom. Okay. Oh! Well, that was neat. Me dispiace, mi hanno fatto. And they made me? <laughs> what the hell was all that? Let's try one syllable orders this time. Charge! Oh, forget them. And this is where she just completely wrecks them. Oh no, fuck this! Oh, that was painful. Well, that was neat. Ah, uh, and there's Tex. Well, if it isn't the great state herself, I was wondering where you were hiding. Hand over the flag, and I promise I'll try not to do any permanent damage. Shut up and fight. Nice voice box, Optimus. You get that in a Cracker Jack box? Awesome. Look at them. Yo, hey, <laughs> Without background music, or... it's still awesome, but... Oh, shit. All right, man, new plan. Let those two pummel each other to death. The only thing that would make this better is some music. Oh, I got it. I just upgraded the basic sound system. Okay, Shelly, play action mix. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Shelly, play something faster. <laughs> oh, Carolina's not doing too bad. Yeah, yeah, personally not my taste. I think it's neat. Let's try something old school. Okay, Shelly, play some Springsteen. One, two, three, four. Oh. Ah. You know, uh, believe it or not, my mom would love this song. <laughs> she loves Springsteen. Alright, now Carolina's just getting her ass kicked. Oh. Will you assholes knock it off? Okay, Shelly. Shuffle. Chapter 14. Harry and his friends walk through the crowded <laughs> office of the <laughs> But Professor, what is this? Harry said, that leaves four more Horcruxes left to find. <laughs> of course you're right. Harry, Harry. Potter audio book as read by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but he who shall not be named will not know we're coming. The scar on Harry's head began to throb as if a hot iron was being pressed against his forehead. It's him, he said. It's happening again. And really? Does that count? If she captures that, does it count? <laughs> All right, this is it. You ready? Uh, I don't know if this is such a good idea, man. Come on, Mark. This is great. We'll get those freelancer chicks to notice. They'll put it in their report. It's the only way. Dude, are you sure? Uh, I'm a terrible shot. Come on, dude. Hurry. I can't do it! Look, you're just gonna have to serve out your tour like the rest of us. Oh. Mark, you know how I said I saw Georgina when I was on shore leave? Yeah. Well, she's expecting, man. Expecting what? Biff Jr. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, Biff dude, Jr. that's why I need to get out. I'm gonna be a yeah. father and maybe a husband if things go that way. Uh... Really? This is how it ends? Get off my flag, bitch! You want it so bad, you 
happy to have it. No! Medic! That's how it ends? Somebody help me! Holy shit. This isn't about you. Uh, I'll send help. Going. Oh. That is the most brutal accident, extenuating Wait, circumstance I've ever seen in my life. I am concerned, however. Her aggression. Make a note of it. It's already done. Good. Send in the retrieval team and then pull the files on those simulation troopers. Sir? Before today, they were the only team still locked in total stalemate. I want their team compositions noted should we need to recreate a similar scenario. Understood, sir. The time has come to kill the masters. The freelancers to start. But that's not where this story ends. Pretty good story, Temple. Now tell me, how would you feel about some constructive feedback? Jack, shut up! I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This whole pregnant girlfriend about to retire thing is about as cliche as it gets. I mean, what if instead he's your twin brother? Ow! I was waiting later, for that. The order stopped coming, and we left our gulch looking for answers. We found them in an abandoned freelancer outpost. We discovered records showing that the very military we had enlisted in sold us like slaves to Project Freelancer. We were pawns in their game. But the thing that I love about chess is that sometimes pawns kill kings. That was actually a really cool line. And you know what? It makes sense. I mean, uh, I, lo I actually love playing chess. And, you know, pawns are overrated. But, hell, put them in the right position. They can win you the game. And... Uh, like I said before, that was, I mean, it, it, I thought the death was a little, I mean, it was gruesome, but it was just like, really? You people were just, just impaled a guy in the chest with a flagpole with underwear at the end and nobody, I, I mean, I, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I know Carolina's huge rivalry with Tex and stuff like that, but it seems like that's going a little too far with her just saying, like, I want to win so badly, I don't care that this person has a flagpole just... and just, like, no negative reper repercussions for that. But, I mean, it, it's it's red versus blue. That weird things have happened. Um, but overall, it was, a, it was a good episode. And now, finally... Uh, we have all the details out, uh, and I guess the, uh, their main goal is to just kill all the freelancers and, uh, well, maybe even just the entire U uh, UNSC because they said that the military sold them to Project Freelancer, so maybe this bomb is for Earth or, uh, UN... SC headquarters, wherever this is, but it won't, it shouldn't be Reach because Reach should be gone at this point. Um, but I mean, it was pretty good. Um, I wish, I wish for a little bit more action. It was more, it was like part action, part comedy. But, um, but overall, like I said, good, good episodes, and now we know the whole backstory. And Jesus Christ, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and and it also just like reflected back in the uh, in I guess it was the prologue or the first episode, one of the two, but just like the whole like gunshot blood thing to the side of the face, it just reflected that. Uh, I think that was the prologue. But um, anyway, so now we got the whole backstory, and now it's just a question of. What are the Reds and Blues doing this whole time? And when are they going to rescue Washington and Carolina? So. 
Until the next episode and we learn some of these answers, this is the A4th Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time.